Hi guys and welcome back to my channel but before I start my video like for real there are two little guys that would like to say hi. This is my big cat. His name is Thelma. Yes, I know it is a girl's name. It's kind of a long story that I intend to tell you guys soon. But anyway, he's on Instagram now. <laughs> he has his own Instagram account. Okay. So you can maybe follow him if you like cats. Okay. Okay. Uh, he weighs eight and a half kilos in case you're curious. So carrying him is no joke. And this is my second little temporary cat. Wow. He is a very, 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 very scratchy cat. Ow, 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 ow. Like, I'm not acting. Oh my god. <laughs> Help. Uh, holding him by his scruff kind of calms him down a little. He's generally like not this much of, of a monster. But I think for some reason he's scared right now. I don't know. Uh, we are just fostering this cat. This is not my cat. But um, we are keeping him for a few days. And uh, he and my my own cat though they look pretty similar they hate each other they hate each other so much and this guy is like the biggest brat in the world he he's really devilish but when you look into his eyes like and he looks into your eyes he looks into your soul and he manages to get away with everything i'm never doing that again that was seriously such a bad decision but anyway now that we've gotten introductions out of the order let's move on so quite a few things to address first of all you can see like brand new filming setup uh, it's very basic, I know it's just like white cloth setup and that is because um, my house is a really nice house but the lighting is really low. Like my house is so dark and I know I've talked to a lot of YouTubers and they face the same problem. I didn't even notice that my house was dark until I wanted to start filming videos and then I was like oh my god it's really dark here. And uh, I used to love filming in my garden. If you see so many of my previous videos, I have filmed in my garden. But it's now monsoon in Mumbai. It's raining a lot. And I can see my garden right now because I'm facing it. And it's all wet. So there's no chance of filming there. So until then, I am going to be filming in front of this. And I am not loving it. But I hope that it will suffice. And I hope that it's like clear and bright enough and you can see me and all that if you have any feedback to give me on this like any tips or whatever feel free also if my face looks kind of shiny um that is not highlighter or anything i'm sweating a bit because i powdered my face and then i started sweating again so i'm just letting you guys know it's a tropical country it's kind of hot i am sweating please deal with it i know i have jibber jabbered more than usual like before any favorites video but yeah june was quite a hectic month it was definitely not my favorite month like i like that it started raining because may was very hot but the month of june was kind of hard i don't know why it was just like i had a lot of work and i hate complaining when i have work because i know it's like a blessing to be able to do what you like and to be able to work hard and i work hard but at times it was just so much of work on such short deadlines that was really overwhelming for me and I just felt like overwhelmed and anxious and overworked a lot of the time and so I was like like just busy and just catching my breath the whole time and if you're wondering why I didn't really vlog much also in June that's the reason why I think there's just one vlog there were a few fun days but I didn't end up vlogging but hopefully now that we are done with June like July is going to be calmer it's the second part of the year it's going to be happier and just like yeah finally on to the favorites i have like some makeup related items and i have some miscellaneous like fashion items so let us get started first i'm going to talk about base makeup i have two favorites the first of which is this l'oreal true match concealer this is not a new product to me i have had like one of these before and i'm sure i put it in one of my monthly favorites sometime last year like sometime in 2015 uh, i have put this in my favorites because i really liked it and then i ran out of that tube i didn't repurchase it at once because i had a few other concealers like a couple from mac and just some other brands i think i had a makeup revolution concealer that i just wanted to finish so i didn't repurchase this one at once but you know when i didn't have this concealer in my life i really missed it it's a nice concealer and so i just like repurchased it a few weeks ago and i've been using it ever since the shade is called medium deep and it's n678 but when i bought this online it just goes under deep not medium deep it's a bit complicated like that yeah but 
this is the deep shade this concealer is really easy to blend it has a peachy tone that helps you cover up any under eye darkness or redness and at the same time there's like a decent amount of coverage that it gives if you've got a spot or something it'll cover that easily it sets quite nicely and it doesn't budge much like my favorite concealer from mac is select moisture cover concealer i find this to be similar to the mac concealer but at the same time actually better like i can say that in an unbiased way that this is like select moisture cover but i just like the coverage and the formula of this one more and even without taking into account prices because the mac concealer i'm pretty sure costs like exactly double this for the same quantity but this is just superior the only place that mac definitely wins out and l'oreal loses is that mac has an extensive range of shades while l'oreal i think has just three in these which is pretty disappointing i've had to miss out on l'oreal foundations in which i like the formulas just because i couldn't get a shade match to my skin tone and i didn't want to buy two and mix them but luckily for this concealer i am like a really good shade match to this medium deep shade and uh, so check it out if you are like looking for a concealer because if you get a shade that matches your skin tone it's really nice but if not tough luck i guess the second base makeup i've liked is something very new to me and something that i'm very excited to share with you guys it's the nyx hydra touch uh, powder foundation that i've just got recently as you might know nyx is launching very very soon in india like officially and it's going to be widely available online there are a lot of products being launched if you'd like more details on that please stay tuned for my next video in just a couple of days because i'm going to give you guys all the juice and all the dirt and whichever idioms you want to use i'm just going to give you all the details on nix's launch and i'm going to have a like kind of detailed reviews for the products uh, that i have been using for a while but anyway this is a standout product for me you guys know i don't use liquid foundations my regime is mainly just concealer and powder on top but when i was using regular powder compacts on top of concealer Uh, I found that the coverage was very light. Like powder compact works to seal in a foundation, but if you are using it as your only base, it doesn't give you like coverage, you know. But this is not a powder compact. It's a powder foundation. So it properly gives you like a desired amount of coverage that you would need. The shade is very very good match to me. In fact, it's actually a little warmer than my skin tone, but I feel that it like works out nicely. If my concealer or something is like a little bit light and if I'm looking ashy, this adds a nice sort of warmth to my complexion and just evens everything out and it's a beautiful beautiful formula. The whole like the way the product is designed and everything is very similar to the MAC powder foundation that I also have, but the MAC one uh firstly costs a lot more and secondly does not agree with my skin at all. It makes me break out badly so I had to stop using it. but this one does not make me break out and it's just very very nice so if you're like me and you prefer like powder bases but at the same time you were looking for a little more coverage than just a regular powder compact uh you found it it's really nice and i would totally recommend this product so now on to eye makeup i have another product from nix and it's the nix jumbo eye pencil in the shade yogurt i don't really use eye shadows much or ever like powder eye shadows I don't use them but at the same time I love using chubby pencil or crayon type of eye shadows that come in sticks because they're just very easy to use like you just put them on your lid swipe them on and you get a good amount of colors so I've tried like crayon eye shadows from a lot of different brands kind of more affordable ones like drugstore ones to more high end ones most recently I've been using the makeup forever aqua shadow pencil quite a lot you would have seen this in my sephora haul and I'm sure I featured it in a favorites after that I really liked it But now for the past few weeks I have been using this NYX one the shade yogurt it's a very like a shimmery shade it's something a little lighter that I would go for like usually my makeup forever one is a proper bronze shade with uh, some amount of shimmer in it but this one is like a tan nude shade and it has a lot more shimmer here you can see like the difference between them but at the same time it gives you a really nice wash of color it's very easy to blend and it does not smudge it does not move around and even after a long day like it fades very little bit but it's not messy looking or anything and i really like it i know a lot of people use uh, these 
jumbo eye pencils as bases like when you're doing a complicated eyeshadow look you sort of start with this but I just use it alone and I'm really impressed with it and I will most certainly be looking at a few more shades in this range because it's pretty nice. My next makeup favorite is an eyebrow product. It's this eyebrow pencil from Colourpop. I've already done a demonstration of this pencil in my Colourpop review video and like yeah it's pretty detailed and pretty clear so if you'd like to see that please check out that video I'm not going to repeat it here it has a good pigmentation it gives you this nice bold brow look like if you prefer it on one side here you have the color like which you know you have to just twist it and the pencil kind of comes out and on the other side you have a spoolie brush which you can use to kind of brush through your eyebrows quickly to make it look a little more natural you know if you packed on a lot of product and your eyebrows look a little bit drawn on when you brush through with a spoolie it's just going to make everything look a little more natural and diffused and yeah natural i'm going to say that again overall i've just been in love with this like it's a very lovely product it's so easy to use and it's so compact so you can easily carry it in your makeup bag the shade that i use is called bangin brunette but there are five or six shades which is also excellent so you can get a shade that's exactly right for your skin tone and your hair color and it's also very very affordable if you still don't know how i bought all the color pop stuff i've made two video reviews on Colourpop. In the first video, I tell you guys exactly how I purchased Colourpop makeup in India and in the second video, I give you reviews of everything I had along with swatches. So if you still haven't watched those, do go check them out. My next favorite is a lip product from the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip Color line and the shade is called Frick and Frack. I put this shade into my cart on a whim like I wasn't even sure if I would like it but it turned out to be at least for now my favorite I'm also wearing it right now and you can see like how I apply it the ultra satin line does not have the longevity of the ultra matte line but at the same time it's very, very comfortable to use and it's not drying like the ultra matte line this shade is a perfect neutral like nude color for me goes so well with my skin tone and if i'm feeling lazy and not feeling like wearing a very bold or like attention grabbing lip i will just put this on and it goes with everything it goes with like any makeup that you do it goes with any clothes that i wear it just it just like is the perfect hard working neutral and right now it's going like really nicely because i'm wearing this like corallish peachy ready shirt and it perfectly coordinates with that and it kind of matches my nails also i'm going to discuss my nails in a bit but yeah i'm really in love with this before i move on have you guys noticed something a little different about my eyes today have you tell me honestly no okay i'm wearing false eyelashes today and i don't blame you guys like if you don't notice them right away because they're very very subtle lashes but I'm still including them as part of my favorites because I am in love. I never thought of myself as a lash person. Like I have reasonably long, reasonably thick lashes all on my own. And I don't even bother with mascara most of the time because I'm lazy and I find that mascara is a pain to remove, especially if it's waterproof mascara. So I just don't bother. I never thought that I would be interested in false lashes, but call it peer pressure or whatever. I've seen a lot of my friends wearing false lashes recently and it looked so nice that I got really excited about it and I just wanted to try out false lashes and see how they look on me, see how they feel, see if they are too difficult to use. So I was really nervous but at the same time I just wanted to go for it. So I bought these lashes from Ardell. Ardell is one of the really famous lash brands like in the world and they are available in India as well now. They have lashes for all your needs like they have individual lashes, they have like very dramatic ones, very natural ones, whatever you want. For my first one, I wanted something very, very natural. So I went with these ones, they're called the Demi Loveys. The reason they look kind of messy in that pack like just now is because like I had already worn them once. You can reuse your lashes three or four times or whatever as long as you take them out carefully, as long as you clean them up nicely. And right now I'm wearing them for the second time, the very same lashes. They are very very natural looking so you know in person also you might not notice that I'm wearing false lashes but it just gives that extra boost that extra 
wow wow boom and uh, like i sealed everything in with one coat of the benefits roller lash mascara and uh, like i don't know i just really love it i thought that they would be difficult to put on they are not that difficult to put on like i just watched one or two youtube videos and i used a tweezer from tweezer man like the front of the tweezer to like kind of apply them on and the back of the tweezer to just like put them into place uh, it was not really that difficult at all though it was my first time though i was a clumsy person i think in 10 minutes like i was completely done and i know that the more i use false lashes it's just going to get easier to put them on you need a lash glue as well obviously and i'm using the ardell's famous duo lash adhesive this is the clear one it's quite nice like it dries pretty much clear and then do if there's like a little like glue residue that you can notice you just put eyeliner like everyone puts black eyeliner to cover up glue residue for my first time i wanted something light but i am going to experiment with slightly more dramatic lashes so i'm totally like a lash convert right now next i have a nail polish favorite so all of you guys must be knowing of nika it's one of india's like most famous places to get all your beauty related needs so they have their own in house line of nail polishes like their own brand and they released last year i remember i went for a little like a launch party as well they keep on adding more and more shades to the collection and recently they released like a line of these shades they're sort of like i don't know how well you guys can see but they're very spring summery uh, pastel shades very pretty and there were multiple shades as soon as i got this kit i saw that like that i really wanted to try right away there's a beautiful like a light pale blue there's a slightly dusty purple color so beautiful but the shade i ended up using first is this one and it's called pomegranate i don't know exactly how to describe this color i can describe it in many ways it's sort of like a, a peachy pinky coral but at the same time it's kind of like a salmon pink and at the same time like slightly like a dusky rose it's slightly like a dusky rose it's a very very beautiful shade um so nice so wearable and if you look at my nails right now like in this close up you'll see that there are like slight very minuscule tip wear here and there and that's because these are my third day nails like i haven't freshly applied this i applied this nail polish three whole days ago and trust me i've done a lot of stuff in between i've handled a lot of things so for my nails to still look this good after three days i am really really impressed with the formula i don't remember liking the formula that much um of the original nail colors but i think in between i don't know they might have improved it but this is like a very impressive nail polish and i really liked it the color the formula everything it's just on point and i am looking forward to trying out a few of the other colors as well my last two favorites for this month are both fashion related items and the first thing i have is this bralette i just bought this a week ago i think from forever 21 actually i didn't go to the store there are a few forever 21 stores in the city but i was lazy i bought this online on mintra in case you are curious and you guys should know by now how much i love bralettes because i've done multiple lingerie and innerwear related videos but i did one video which was just completely dedicated to bralettes so I'm going to link that below right now if you haven't checked that out check it out. They are like a lighter more comfortable version of bras. So when I saw this on like the Mintra app it looked really nice but I didn't know how comfortable it would be or like how good it would feel good or bad for that matter until I actually got it and tried it on but this is I think the most comfortable bralette I have ever had. I am not kidding. It's just so soft and so light even the cups are really really soft. and the whole thing is just stretchy elastic there are no buckles or anything that you need to put you can just slip this on like a t-shirt or something and it just feels so comfortable it's incredibly light and i love it like it and it's really cool if you're wearing like a racer back tank top or something it's got this like detailing at the back that looks really nice my only complaint like i do have one complaint about it is that this fabric is so soft that uh, you know you do have like a little bit of the nipple shape showing through so if that's an issue for you maybe you shouldn't buy this one but at the same time if you're wearing like loose clothes and you're not concerned about that uh, you can do this and i especially bought this bra for just like you don't know, not necessarily for going outside but just for lounging about in the house sometimes 
you can't go braless but at the same time you don't want to wear a full on bra you want something a little more comfortable when you're at home or whatever then you should get this it's just like i wasn't even going to talk about it i just bought it but it's so comfortable like i have never put on any form of bralette or bra that just feels this good and my final fashion item for this month is a pair of denim shorts here they are they're kind of big so they're not even going to fit in the frame at one time here i recently collaborated with marks and spencers if you follow me on instagram you must have seen the pictures and videos and because i collaborated with them i actually went into their store and took a lot of time to go through the entire collection and i just loved so many things there like i hadn't really properly ventured into marks and spencers before that but so many things were just perfectly in line with my style that i fell in love the shirt that i'm wearing right now is also from their collection and this is a linen shirt and it's just the most beautiful thing ever they have it in a rainbow of colors i want every single color but this is my favorite color i don't know if it's getting slightly washed out on camera but it's just so pretty so in may of this year i set out on my quest to get the perfect denim shorts because i wanted shorts that had a clean look no distressing no lace no bows no nothing it was surprisingly hard to find but i finally found one pair from zara and it was also high waist which i loved so i wore that a lot whenever i was on vacation the only con that i found with those shorts is that they were a little bit like on the short side they were slightly shorter than like you know the denim shorts that i wanted but since they were the best ones that i found i went with them so they were good to wear on vacation but at the same time i didn't really feel comfortable wearing those denim shorts like in mumbai mumbai is like a reasonably safe city by indian standards but at the same time you know how people stare and those shorts are really short so i didn't wear them out and then when i was in max and spencers i found this pair of shorts and i fell in love immediately so they have a few different like um models or designs or whatever of shorts this one is called the relax short as you can see it's written here like in really big lettering so it has a nice length on it which i love it falls like mid thigh for me which is just perfect and you know it makes me look good like it fits in all the right areas well enough if you know what i mean but at the same time um it's like relaxed so it's not like so sticky or so body hugging that it makes me uncomfortable it's just a very beautiful laid back piece that i started wearing out a lot in the summer like ever since i bought these i even did an outfit post which is going to go live soon on my blog but i'm just going to put a few pictures here so you can get an idea of like what these shots look like on me but they're really nice i feel like they're very important basic in my wardrobe and i love wearing them out in monsoons in mumbai also i don't feel like wearing full like denim jeans a lot do i am a jeans person because the area around your ankles and stuff tends to get kind of dirty so these shorts are perfect even for monsoons they're just so easy and laid back and they are the best so if like me you've been searching for a good pair of denim shorts and if like me you looked everywhere for them in every single store then head on to marks and spencers and check these out because these are awesome these don't go according to waist size and in inches but uh, they go according to british clothing sizes so i am a british 8 for most clothing and uh, this is an 8 it fit me pretty perfectly there's a little bit of room at the waist which means that even if i put on a few pounds this is still going to fit nicely that was everything that i loved in the month of june i know this video got a lot chattier than usual sorry not sorry i guess i had a lot to say so have you guys discovered anything nice and new in june if so do let me know cuz i am always looking for cool new things to check out and find out and stuff so do leave a comment below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos um and subscribe to my channel for more videos on beauty fashion travel and possibly more of my two devil cats thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye